it's time to head on back to the lake. Amelia and Angela are in Lake City this evening. Yes, the South Shore. Good to see you, ladies. It's gorgeous behind you. It, it's fantastic here. It's it beautiful. Is. Yeah, you know, I really think this this part of the state is such a treasure. The bluffs that surround Lake Pepin really do give it a very different look and feel compared to other lakes, the mini lakes we have around Minnesota. It's just, it's remarkable. It really is. You know, there is so much to see in and around Lake Pepin, and there is an attraction that is great, perfect for families. It's just about 15 miles downriver from where we're standing. At the south end of Lake Pepin on the Mississippi River, the kids are catching lunch. You ready? Thank All right, you. buddy. Not for themselves, but for the National Eagle Center's main attractions. <laughs> These majestic symbols of America are here in Wabasha because they're hurt and can't fly. The first wow factor is always, I didn't know they were so big. And <laughs> just seeing them up close and really getting that size. Uh, you might see them up in the sky soaring, uh, but when you see them eyeball to eyeball, you realize uh, the kind of animal you're dealing with are really uh, very majestic and powerful bird. This is Angel. Eagles like Angel now teach tens of thousands of visitors each year about a remarkable story of recovery. And here is the best place to do it. We are right smack in the middle of the heart of bald eagle nesting territory. This part of the Mississippi River is one of the best areas for eagles in America. But even here, they once struggled. In the early 1970s, one pair of nesting eagles lived on a 260-mile stretch of the Mississippi running from Lake Pepin to Illinois. Now, around 300. That's a remarkable recovery. And how that's possible is really that the American people came together and decided it was important. So now what she's doing is she's taking that down to her talents. The Eagle Center hopes the lessons learned today let America's symbol of freedom thrive for generations. And the center is celebrating Bald Eagles Days, Bald Eagle, Eagle Days in Wabasha this weekend. So you can celebrate the festivities here in Lake City, and then you can go back to Wabasha and celebrate the Eagles return. Now, that fishing program that you saw that we talked about there, that runs Wednesdays and Thursdays all summer long, and you don't have to sign up, pre-sign up. You can just show up. So a lot going on here. And we've met people from other states who are here visiting oh, yes. the Lake City, Lake Pepin area. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we're going to show you some spectacular golf courses where you can still get views of the lake as you golf. And you'll enjoy seeing that and, and look at some of the other attractions here in the area as well. You and we're going to give you a great tour so far. We love that Eagle Center. Oh, and a oh, listen. Yeah, yeah we're, yeah, we're going to give you a little to. look at our uh, playlist, the songs <laughs> that we listened to when we, we came down. Oh. Jammed Angela all the way down here. has been putting that together for days. Yes. Good. Yeah, she has yes. been. She's been in full concentration <laughs> on that. I love the label you gave it to, the shallow end. I thought that was great. They I didn't hear what you said, They're Frank. Smiling on me. <laughs> all right, we'll see you in a little bit, ladies. Thank you. All right. Bye. Well, we are taking all taking a turn going to the lakes this summer. This is our full schedule. You can check it out here if we're in a town near you. We'd love to have you stop by and say hello. You can also send us ideas of what to check out and where to eat. It's all at WCCO.com slash lake trip or perhaps, you know, make a suggestion for our playlist. Absolutely. You and Amelia are actually going together soon. Not till August. Yeah, we have uh, a couple months to practice. Correct. Yeah. And we'll need it. <laughs> well, has